Okay, in today's video, I will be um, using cabinet artworks for the MAME emulator. So if you haven't already gotten the latest MAME emulator, uh, just go to the MAME website, which is right here. I'll leave it in the video descriptions below. So just go to download, let's go to latest release, and download this well select the one for your operating system for me I have Windows 10 so I'll be selecting that if you have Apple OS or iOS you select that if you have Linux then you select that so for me I got Windows so I select that that's the one you download Okay, that's done. It's going to ask you where you want to download to or unzip it to. I'm going to go to my emulator folder, MAME, and make a new folder called MAME0234B. That's what I'll call it. And I'll select this folder and extract all the files in there you'll need a uh, at least MAME 2.2 something if you have anything below that it, before that artworks not gonna work okay so that's put in there so Next thing is I'm going to go to Progetto, Progetto, Progetto Snaps website. This is where they have a lot of artwork for cabinets. So um, I'm going to select appropriate uh, artwork. So let me select some over here. Gonna select P fit forty seven. Download the latest one, so that's two thousand eighteen, that's two thousand twenty one. I guess later is better. Gonna select Pac Man Plus as well. Time pilot. Yeah, select the latest one for that. And just one more um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, latest still. And dark. I guess I'll select dark. There it is. Latest. Okay, so I got those in. I'm gonna go to my uh, folder where I put that MAME emulator. So it's this one here. So you just put the files that I'm gonna put the files that I downloaded, the artwork files, into this folder right here. I think it's downloads. These are the files. Okay, artwork. So the only thing um, for this artwork stuff is that the file for the artwork should match the ROM file name as well so NARC is NARC for the ROM and T 
TMNT is for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's the ROM name is also TMNT, and uh, P47. The ROM that I have for P47 is P47. So the names have to be exactly the same for for it to work. So I'm gonna start it right now. Okay, what I have to do now is I need to connect the ROMs to this emulator. So you go to Options, go to Configure Directory, go to ROMs, add a folder, So I'm going to select the folder where I have all my ROMs for MAME. So you just so go in there and uh, press the tab button. And this is where my ROMs are for this. Go to return to previous. Go to return to previous menu. Save the configuration. Now it's saved. Okay, so let me see P forty seven. As you can see the artwork is on is on the side. If you want to change this, you press the tab key, go to video, go to screen, and you could change the bezel for it. So this is what came in default bezel project and WS dive master you could select that or you could go to previous menu previous go to slider controls I'm gonna reduce the sound so you can hear my voice so here you can change the position for the screen so let's see stretch so this makes the screen wider if you move it to the left it makes it more narrow as you can see on the screen how it's closing in so we want to move the borders we want to stretch it so that uh, it takes up the entire real estate of the screen okay that looks good we could do a vertical stretch as well I'm making it narrow as you can see we could change the vertical position as well I'm moving it up by pressing left right by pressing down okay, that looks pretty good so that's how you can adjust it but the problem with this thing is it doesn't save it so just to let you know that I'm gonna configure the controls as well we input this no input general so I'm gonna configure my joystick press enter up with my joystick. Well, hold on. I, I think I screwed up here. Up, <coughs> down, left, right. Select the button. Okay, that's good. Back to previous, back to previous, return. Uh, let me play this game. Oh, I turned off the sound, so let me get the sound back on. The slider controls.
press escape to get out of it. And let's try another one. Let's try... Uh, let's try Pac. Pac-Man Plus. That's another one that I selected, right? Okay, great. I'm gonna press tab and change some change the bezel. Okay, there's different ones you could change too. This one gives it more of a retro feel. This is without the bezel. Let me select the one. This has a more classic feeling, so I like this. <laughs> that works. That's one of the bezels that I put in. So it does work. Let's see which uh, options I have for this. So the one that it starts with is always on the top. And then this is another bezel. I don't like that one. But that looks great. I mean, that looks like you're really in the arcade or something. I'm gonna change the screen a little bit. It's it's not really adjusted. Slider controls. It's a little too low, I think. I'm gonna. better. Okay, that looks better. Okay. Change the bezel again. That looks good. Okay, that's that's enough. I'm gonna escape out of here. Get out of here. I don't remember which one to put in there. Narc. And TMNT, okay. Let me try TMNT. That's the correct one, I think. change the bezel I like that better this this looks better fire hang on April
seems to have been a problem with the ROM. Okay, that's enough. Um, let's try an arc. I think it's that one. Try different bezels. Let's go here. I like this better. This is this looks awesome. Oh no, the night, man. Five, one, one, two, Let's go. Definitely looks like the arcade cabinet. Pretty good. Try another one. Get out of here first. Uh, let's get commando. See if they have commando. There it is, that's the latest one. Okay. Artwork. Just type in commando. I think I should have commando in here. Let's try a different artwork. This has reflection on it, so it's actually like the actual arcade. No shading. That's a project. This one has a smaller screen. This one looks like the arcade. Try it out, man.
try another bezel. This one looks like the arcade cabinet, for real. Definitely gives it that retro feel. Notice how the screen is like curved and everything because that's because it's using a CRT screen. I think this artist did a very good job of making, replicating this uh, bezel, in my opinion. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Let's try another bezel. That reflection thing really does give it like the arcade feel. That's how it was really like back then. This one, not so much. No shading. This is okay too. This is kind of like stretched out. This, this is also stretched out, smaller screen. I like that the best. So let me get out of here. Okay, great. So that's basically it for this video. So anyways, thanks for watching.